The Action Man Electronic Command Center. Who knows its secret location? Why are its guns firing? Who is the talking commander calling? Did the Space Ranger and the Solar Hurricane pick up any signal? Where is the Space Knight Rom? The Command Center. Talking Commander. Solar Hurricane. Rom. What strange force will bring them together? Only you know the answer. You and... Action Man. Rom Palatoy. I've got a whole bag filled with Action Man. I'll go through this as quick as I can. I've already poured out one thing and put it into a protective case. So that'll be the first thing I'll show you. So this bag is pretty huge. And for editing reasons, I'm going to cut this up as quick as I can. So the first thing I got, I paid about £150 for all you see here. So hopefully I'll make some money back. Um, so the first one I got was this Action Man Soldier box. I placed it into one of these protective cases. You can buy these... Um, through the Action Man groups. If anybody wants to know exactly who to bomb off, I can give you a name. So the box came in pretty poor condition, as you can tell. It is ripped up here, but it is complete. It has crushing on the sides. But overall, it's not a bad box. This is the third soldier, basic soldier. Technically, you can maybe say it's the fourth because that's gripping hands, but in terms of box design, you have the original from 66, the second one from 1969, 1970, and then this one. This is probably the most popular one that kids had back in the day. It's the one I usually find quite often. Next up, we got our first action man. So this poor chap, he is a painted head, blonde figure, he is actually marked G.I. Joe. That's a bonus. So I'm not sure if you can pick it up on the um, screen, but Action Man is usually marked on his back. This one's marked on his um, rear end. G.I. Joe. Made in Canada. That is pretty cool. Um, that actually adds a bit of value to him. So he needs a bit of cleaning down to his face because you can tell he's a bit grubby and his arm needs a transplant he is wearing the red devil outfit let's have a look at his leg okay so he's got a broken leg overall he's gi joe so he's worth you know at least 25 to 30 pounds in its current state so all this stuff i um i have here is all for sale so if anybody wants anything give me a shout i can do deals the more you buy. Um, Red Devil outfit. Then we have another figure here. This guy is Mark Strong. He's not Action Man. I can make him. He is in quite nice condition actually. Usually these are quite badly broken. I've only had a few of these before. Um, he has a mechanism on his back for quite a chop action. There you go, press that bit there. Now these figures are all, all, all over the place. There's not many of them for sale. Um, I reckon I can probably get about £30 for him. People have got up to £50 in the past. Then we've got some paperwork for the Red Devil. Uh, not Sorry, not for the Red Devil. This is actually Mark Strong paperwork. Tells you all the outfits you can get. Judo outfit, race car, scuba diver, track and field. Ski, Mountaineer, Football Player and a Red Devil Skydiver. Um, because of the success, success of um, G.I. Joe in the States and the success of Action Man in the UK, a lot of um, now doll, dolls came out. They would call Action Man a doll, I know. But these sort of types of figures came out and they all kind of copied onto the Action Man sort of thing. Now in G.I. Joe world... You know, you can get a soldier and everything, but they didn't have things like the judo outfit. Uh, they didn't have things like the football players, soccer players. So actually, this is all uh, an action man sort of thing. That's cool to get the paperwork. Then we have an action man catalogue. It's not the best condition, but shows some awesome stuff. Look at that. Quartermaster's stores. I would love to own these cover boxes. If anybody has them, give me a shout, I'll pay for them. 
all vehicles for here and no authorized personnel beyond this point. These are the um, Royal MP military police signs. These are pretty cool. Maybe there's some more paperwork, hands that really grip, and a action man, soldier, and army manual. These came in the early figures. We have another Mark Strong figure. This time he appears to be wearing the judo outfit and a sports track suit sort of thing. His <laughs> motion works. So he's cool. This here is the orange or green tent for the polar exploration action man figure. It comes with metal poles, so hopefully, maybe, fingers crossed, they're in there. Then we got the, can you guess what team it is? Liverpool. Action Man football kit with shorts. Always good to get those. Uh, another Action Man jumper, I believe. I think this is Action Man. Yes. So it's a, just a blue, basic football jumper. Always wrecked. Very, very hard to find in good condition. If you ever find any football stuff and it's in really nice condition, then you're probably onto a winner. We've got a uh, pair of stretchers. This is the Action Man stretchers. Um, these are really cool. Simple design, just like a normal pair of stretcher. It just goes like that. Not worth mega money. Um, a jacket for the Russian, early 60s Russian. Very thick material. Something you don't really see that often. I'm going to try and see if I can restore it the best I can, but it's so brittle. It's this 1960s Navy uh, jacket. They did one for the RNLI in the 70s, but this one is the hardest one to find. It's the first time I've ever found it. I've never seen one for sale. Um, not to say they haven't been for sale. That I've actively seen. Every now and then I'll occasionally try to look on eBay for one. I don't really buy off eBay because I generally find all the stuff I need in job lots. But this is so rare. It's made of like a plastic material which makes it just deteriorate straight away. Um, I'll try my best to try and do some kind of restoration on that. I'm not going to show you everything because there's lots of things in here like boots and stuff like that, which you've all seen before. So we've got another football top. This is the World Cup football top. Always faded on the back. You can just about see what it says World Cup 1970. I'm always looking out for a mint condition one of these. If anybody has one for sale, please tell me. And you have the um, RNLI trousers. Not Sorry, not RNLI. The Navy trousers. As I said, they're so rare that they're ripped to shreds. So sad. Really, really hard to find item. Um, if you do find them, be very careful with them because they will tear. It's probably one of the only things from the 60s that I don't have anything of. So it's good to get hold of it, but I'm unsure what to do. There's the rest of it. Basically, you put your actual and digger through here. Your legs go through there. And your zip wires down. Presumably from a boat or a helicopter. Then we have your typical things like helmets and berets with badges. There's so much stuff here. A lot of it, it's it's you know your, your typical things like boots and everything. Then we got some. If you can see that vitamins. These are like medical cabinet type toys. You can just about make that out. I think that's so. There you go. I don't know what that's from. I don't think it's action man. I think it might be Tommy Gunn, maybe. And then we've got some Huskies. They go with the Polar Sledge from the 60s. We've got this Union Jack, which is a bit strange. If anybody knows what it's for, it's made of cloth canvas and it has a bit where you can put a pole in there. I'm not sure what that's from. Tommy Gunn, maybe? I'm not a big Tommy Gun collector, so I don't really know. Another dog. 
Then we have a Trans Polar Expedition crate. Uh, these ones are the ones that go with the um, polar um, sledge with the dogs. Then you have another action man here. He is a blonde talking figure. He will need to be restored. Should we have a look and see if he is a American G.I. Joe? I'm pretty sure he'll be Action Man. Made in Palatoy by Action Man. Made in, pa made in England by Palatoy. Yep, so he's an Action Man. On the back of all... On the back of all Action Man, it'll be on the, on the base of their back. It'll say copyright 1964. That's not the copyright of Action... Well, technically, it's the copyright of Action Man, but that's not when Action Man actually came out. Action Man came out in '66. Um, if you want to be so technical, it's the 30th of January. For, um, it's when it came out. Because on the 30th of January at the Brighton Toy Fair is when Action Man was debuted. Then we have the Grenadier Guard outfit and his trousers. And his hat. I think you're supposed to. I think, generally speaking, people call these bear skins. When I'm pretty confident, it's not. I think it's some. I think it's something else. I think the bear skin is the one which is more round and kind of Russian looking. Then we have another powder exhibition. There's something rattling inside. Fantastic. So we have, <laughs> it's always a winner. So we have the belt with the gun. People are always after these. And greatly, we have a pair of dog tags. It should be perfect because dog tags always, always in demand. Uh, and then we have the broken dog tag from the talking action man. That just means that when we when I go to sell it, it will have a bit more of a a buying point, really. And there you go, another one of those. We now have another action man. So he is wearing the um, tank commander or armored car commander's um, jacket. That could be worth a bit of money. Uh, condition aside, I've spent ages trying to get a nice one of these together. They, you find the leather jackets quite a lot in job lots. They're re really popular, but the ones with the cuffs are the ones which are worth the money. Um, if this zip does up, we're potentially onto a winner. No. Go on, go on. No, so the zip doesn't really want to do up. Um, I will need to look into that. Potentially, the teeth are just worn away now. Uh, I will probably just set it as it is. Always a good thing to find. We have an arm, so somebody's going to get a um, get an arm. Possibly this guy here. So this guy here, who was wearing the armor jacket, he is a 1970s flock head. As you can see, the flock is starting to peel apart. And he needs a clean. His face is ruined, really. He will clean up, but he's got loads of scratches. He's more of a donor sort of figure than an actual figure, unfortunately. We have another arm, possibly for the G.I. Joe guy. We have this yellow hair tank. Um, I think that's probably going to be for the Mark Strong figure, I think. There's a very similar one, the reason why I'm stalling it, it's a very similar one for the Gilbert James Bond sets. Now we have another action man. So this is also a fuzz head. His hair is really nice. A little bit weird there, but that's probably where it was made. His eyebrows are really good and his face is really good. He's got a bit of, the, unfortunately, the blue moulding which happens with these figures. His hands are absolutely perished, so they would have to come off. And he's got a hole in his jump his anorak but he's also wearing some dog tags it's a fantastic look fine this is this is really good every time you see dog tags on an action man 
you know, you're talking an extra £15 all day long. And there's loads of other stuff like white socks, sandbags, detonators, a Tommy gun, a bomb thing, landmine tools. There is literally just loads and loads of guns and bits of guns broken, mainly broken. That's quite cool if it's complete, it's quite nice. It's a little radio set. Another radio set, but unfortunately the top's broken. There's the helmet and goggles for the armoured car commander. Unfortunately, um, there's so much stuff in here. I could literally spend hours going through it, but I can't see anything which kind of jumps out to show you guys. Some saddles, which I think are for the Marks toys or um, um, Low Ranger. I think it's the Marks. Johnny West. There's something inside this one. Should we see what it is? We've got a plate. We've got a cup. We've got a very small knife and fork. And that's it. Yeah, that's quite cool. A pair of saddles. And some small get some medical stuff so there is absolutely loads here um, blue navy helmet always always one to look out for there's lots and lots and lots of stuff this whole lot cost me about 150 pounds I think that's I think I think it's worth it I'll make my money back on in the um, figures alone and then the rest is pure profit really um, I can't tell you how much, how much um, spare bits there are. There's loads and loads and loads of stuff. A lot of it I can see is just weapons. Uh, there's no nothing rare here, from what I can tell. Lots and lots of boots. So all of the things you see here will be for sale. They will all be sold through our Facebook page, which is time tunnel toys uk or our instagram page which is also time tunnel toys uk i would try i'll try and sell some of these things on the vintage action man groups as well but first off they're going to go to our webpage. anyway thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe it means a lot to us and i'll see you in the next video thank you very much happy hunting